In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Go.NeoBeam plugin to manage your per project goal settings. So what are those settings? It may include, say, your setting for your environmental variables and your settings for uh, debugger your settings for the uh, bin, go lint, go format. So how to do that? Uh, here is a simple folder that contains a lot of go files. First, I would create a go more, go to mode file. That's the module setup. By calling go mode init, it will create a go mode file. And let's refresh this. Uh, Here is the go mode file. Uh, you will say that ah, you need to run go mode tidy. So I do go mode yeah, uh, go mode tidy. I could use either go mode tidy or as this uh, virtual text, so I could also do go code that plant. Uh, those are same. So you see the uh, GOMO file is being updated. So I successfully add the module set up for, for my Go project. That's the first step. I close the buffer. And then next, I want to add the Go project. Now by using go project. I'll go back to my tree. You'll see a folder being created. That's a init Lua. So this is a small Lua script that will be run each time when go NeoVim plugin be set up. Uh, what we could do inside this is uh, we could the return value are going to override the uh, let's go here mm. these are the default uh, go setup all those values can, could be override. Hold on here. Uh, so suppose I want to override the go import. Uh, let's see what's the current go import value. So currently I'm using GoPS. Uh, maybe I use instead of use GoPS, I use Go Import. That's the uh, override uh, on Go Front. Uh, what I'm doing now? Go. So I uh, use uh, this go font. I'm just want to use a more simple format tool. Yeah, I save. Also, as this is a Lua script, I could also add other things. Say I want to uh, copy paste the. I want to just yeah. Say disable the noise, or maybe I would like to uh, I would like to uh when I Write the go file. 
like to use the Go FM Go format to format my current current file instead of use the uh, now as automatic format. So let's save this and quit and then we run and we can check whether the weather is set. Oh, it's changed to Go FMT. That's good. Um, when, when we want to save, it says, oh, request failed, no matching language service because I disabled the noun as. So everything works, so, works fine so far. Next uh, is the settings for debugger. So if I set a few breakpoints, so Breakpoint here, breakpoint here, and I go, go debug. It will uh, launch directly. But what if in a more complex project, uh, I need settings for test, debug test, or debug main, or de debug. Uh, uh, remote server, so we could do this, go create launch. So this is a uh, launch.json, and uh, if you use VS Code before, that's the same format. So I do have go launch.json. I go back to my main, and I run go Debug again. It will ask whether you want to uh, launch package, debug current package, or launch uh, test function. Maybe I use uh, debug current package. Yeah, debug started. So you can see here uh, i equals to 33. Mm. Okay so far and start uh, stop my buffer. Our next is uh, how about let's say it was breakpoint so I could do go save breakpoint save breakpoint save that should uh, add a breakpoint in my project file, so I quit and then rewrite to go breakpoint uh, load. Yeah, all the breakpoint is back. Mm, next thing I want to show you is the environment variable settings. Let's do add an env file. In the env file, uh, I want to say my server port equal to 999. My server app equal to uh, fancy server. Uh, that's the environment variables, and uh, then I go back to my main, and I do go in B, and then I check my environment variables by use add code. Add code, so my, oh, my port. Nine, nine, nine. Name fancy server. Okay, so this command go env will load the your env file. You can also speci uh, specify your env file name as well. Yeah, that's um, the command we could use uh, from go env plugin. 
let's help you to set up your project and make your life easy. If you like my plugin, uh, please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos and like my GitHub uh, project. Thanks.